Hello and welcome back. Today we are going to create a hex grid, hexagonal grid inside Guru. And I have two scripts. One was a C sharp script. And I have converted it. We can give a look at it. We see today how to convert a C sharp script to GD script and it's not hard just in C sharp if you understand how to type the language you will see it similar to GD script or any other language so at first we need to create our hex style or our hexagon so we open blender we press shift A to add a circle and here it will be like something like it will be 32 so you open this and you type 6 here 6 vertices to get a hexagon so then we select it and we change to edit mode and make sure we change here to vertices select and we need to press F to fill this circle then I to insert another edge loop inside this and then we select press ALT and we press right click to select the outer loop and we press G then the, that to move it down a little so it be something like this and here we change to face select and we press alt and we press on this edge to select this outer line loop so first we need to add two materials we add a material we call it white i think i have already one it's deleted or whatever so oh, here we have white then we add another one and we rename it black and we assign we press assign so it will assign the faces that we are selected to this black one and now we can change the color to be something darker than white like, like this Make it a little darker and now you can see it has two materials now so if you don't see any changes make sure you change from solid viewport to material viewport to see what's what's going here so now make sure your origin is at the center at the top follow my steps then we export this as obj export it to desktop sure you press selection only if you have another model so it exports only what we have selected so here we have our hex style and we export it then another thing we need to to do is we need that units dimension if you see it in meters or centimeters so go here to the context and open this units and make sure you change it to none so if you change to metric you will see this will change we want it to be none to have its units here and this is the dimension so Kobe, the width that is x and this is 2 we can know it then inside guru create a new 3d scene and rename it to game so this is the, our game scene and we add a child node we choose mesh 
an instance here then we save this to our files here I, I don't know if we can drag drag this inside Google yes we can so this is dragged here current open empty file it's okay let's double click on it um, since the material is not shown let's drag them together and it's not adding our material Try to import import and we press re import. Generate tangent tile. It's not adding our material, but it's okay. We can just drag it to our scene here our mesh instance here we choose mesh instance and we drag this to the mesh and in materials we have two empty materials we can create them new special and here we create new special this one is the black so we change the color to something dark like this it's like the outer line of our hex so now after creating this press right click and save branch as scene which use re resource and we we'll name it hex style and you can say you can see we have here a new resource which is a scene but if, if you want to just give it a new name rather than scene you give it a resource so this is like a resource here and we delete it from our view then we need to add a camera and we need to add a direction light so we search for light and we choose directional light we press F to focus on the light we move it up then we rotate and we press X a press control to snap it and here we need to rotate it 15 degrees like this and 15 degrees like this then we choose our camera we need to move our direction light away from our camera so now this camera we need to move it up and we change rotate x by 90 we change it to orthographic and we change the size to something like 15 so now to see how it will see our grid we add this hex tile here and we press on the camera and we click preview so you can see this is good for the size of one hex move it up a little it will not make any difference because it is for in orthographic view and we move the light to not make any change if we make it far on the axis so now delete this mesh in essence save your scene and add another empty special node here we will call it we'll rename it <coughs> hex grid then we need to add the attach a script and it will be renamed as the name of our node so we create this 
so here we open our C sharp this is belongs to unity using 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 we delete this we can delete this too we don't need it so we have a start and end of our code so those are the variables that we we declare here so something like this we have our variable hex style we have two exported variables the grid width and the grid height we have our hex width this the size here we can copy it if it's not the same and we paste it here then here we have our hex height which is the y value here equals 2.0 then we have a new variable vector 3 and this is the same here we have a transform hex fab hex prefab so the hex prefab here is like this variable hex style then we will declare it in the ready function then here's a grid width, a grid height, hex width, hex height, vector 3 start position. This is for array. I have added it, but we will not need it right now. And we not need this too. So in the start function, here we have two methods in C sharp. This is a method in in GD script it's called functions so we can call those two functions here once we start same as the C sharp script so now he have declared this he have set this prefab in the inspector in unity so we can do the same in Godot we have to load it to load this once the game starts so we have this hex style equal preload hex mesh dot resource so we, we just type preload then we can say mm, preload and you will see all our resource appear here we need this hex style resource and we exit it so now we have set this hex style this variable we set it to our hex style in resource so now it's giving us an error it wants us to declare this function so we go down we don't need a process function we can say function calculate start position then we pass and here we can say function create grid and we pass this two so now we have no errors because we have declared the two functions and this boss will will make it not give an error like we can leave it empty like this oh here we have three functions this is the start and here we have it's called ready in ready script so we, we finish this now let's create this function calculate start position so here we can create another function on top of them and we call it function calculate start position and we press pass then 
Oh, we have it. What else we don't have? Calculate world position. So we change this to calculate world. The second one, world position, and we pass it. So we, here we have the three functions. Here, calculate start position, calculate world position, and create grid. So the first thing, once the game starts, it will call this calculate start position function. So let's type some codes here and in calculate start position, we have a variable offset equal zero. It's a float, and if a statement here, then he declares two variables. Then he set the start position. This variable he gave it a new value new vector 3 x y uh, x x 0 and z and this is the x from our variable here and the z from our variable here so to do the same in gd script we can type it like this calculate start position variable offset equal 0, 0.0 so it knows it's a float here we move it a little we need to move it to our calculate start position Here and we move this if statement. No, it was correctly. So now we have this variable offset equal 0, 0.0 if grade width grade width mod two not equal zero. And this means if this value grade width is not even value. So here we check if the grade width is even is not even so if it is 9 so this is will be true grade width mod 2 will not equal 0 because it's not even so we will change this offset variable to hex width divided 2 so we will change this hex, hex width to we will divide this value by 2 and we will set the offset to this value so here once we create the grid it will change the position the start position of our grid so without this function calculate start position the grid will start from Oh, we need this and we need to see our camera the grid will start from here this will be 0 and 0 then it will go this way and this way we create the, our loop of another hexagon so we want to move this start position to center the grid all the grid to our screen so to do this we need this calculate start position function and if it check if it's not even rows then it will change the hex width to it will set the offset to half the hex width and it adds it to variable x equal negative hex width times grid width divided 2 plus the offset divided 2 and I have added this because in C sharp you can see here it's just minus offset and it, it didn't work inside Garot so I have changed this to positive plus the offset divided 2 and now we have our start position ready now let's calculate world lip position and this means it will calculate every hex position depends on this start position 
this variable so you will give it you need to give it a value you calculate worldly position it has it needs a value of vector 2 grade position so to do this we can say variable grade position and this is not the same as our start position this is an, a new variable and we want this to be a type of vector 2 so this function only takes vector 2 and it change it to a vector 3 after calculating the position of every hex so here we can say like this here if enter grade position dot y mod 2 is not equal 0 and this checks if the our column is not even so if it's not even it will move it a little to fit the grid okay now we'll set the grid widths will decrease the value of the grid width by one if it's not even and if even it will increase it by one so what's wrong here if enter set this else set this and return this here identifier of offset is not declared we didn't declare this so we need to declare it here I have forgot this uh, so we declare first a, a new local variable offset equal 0 0.0, 0 and this is the calculation of the worldly position and it will take this grid position value and it will return the value of or the position of the every hex style in our scene now the last function is the create grid function and this is the last one which will be called in the ready function and this is the loop that will create our grid so here we can copy this for x in range grid width so you can see in C sharp it is something like function create grid and here he, he add the for loop he creates a new a new local variable y and he set it to zero and then he say if y is, is smaller than grid height then y plus plus means increase the y value by one and the same he he create another for loop inside it for x and we do the same here for x in range grid width and this means like if x is smaller than grid width then add one to x until it be equal to grid width okay and same here if for y for variable y in range grid height and it means if y is smaller than grid height add one or <coughs> the same as this and this is the for loop inside c sharp and here same for loop inside gt script so here we say for variable hex you create a new variable called hex and this is the instance of our hex style hex style here is the one that we set up there in the ready function that will load this hex mesh instance we can delete it now then after this we ha create a new variable called create position and this is local to this function only and we set it to vector 2 x and y which x and which y this x and this y 
so it takes the number like if x is equal 0 y equal 0 then here it will return in the first loop 0 0 0 1 0 2 0 3 until it reaches the grid width then switch add 1 to the width then it will this will be 1 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 1 4 like this and show you how it works we can print this string x then we add this dot here and we add string y and we close our brackets so if we print the value of x and the value of y we forget to add them so this all will be changed to string to be able to add them and the print them so after this we have this hex dot set name and this will set the child name that we will create inside this hexagrid scene inside this hexagrid node so we set the name we take the value of x and we separate it here and we take the value of y and add it then we add child hex we add child to this node and this child is the hex the instance of the hex tile resource and at last we have this variable hex position and this is we we'll call the function of calculate world position here and we give it this value of the x and y okay and at last we set the position by we type hex this hex refers to this instance and we set translation and this translation needs a vector 3 value because it's inside the 3d world and the hex position this calculate world position will return a vector 3 here we return a vector 3 after calculating the position of every tile in the hex grid so now let's select this game scene as our start scene and we start our game and see if it works you can see it works but the grid is not centered correctly and this is maybe because our camera no can okay, so the preview This is the offset of the Y not correctly. Let's change these values to like ten and ten. We increase the size to twenty our camera and we test it so now you can see it works and it is not centered correctly now we can see here in the start position offset is equal hex width right by two and here Let's delete this and we see now if it is centered Verify to point zero. It was centered in 
other script <clears throat> application of the offset we our problem is not centered so we set the width to 9 and the height to we leave the height to 10 and we check now so now you can see it is centered so once it's not even it's centered we won't center it if it is even too so we can say We we'll leave our code like this if with grid width value two mod not mod two not equal zero and else if it is even we can create something like um, offset equal hex width Let's try this. Now it's centered, so let's change this to 10. And now it is even, so let's see what we have in here. But it's not centered. So we can say, right, let's try to divide it by 2 again will not be centered just I try oh it's centered so which is the same if even if even or not so we can just say our offset is equal hex width divided by 2 and we start and see if it works for even and odd so now you can see it is centered let's change this to an even to an odd grid and we test it if it is giving the same result and yes it is giving the same result so what else we need to do i think it's not centered so we need to just to change our camera back to 15 and see if it is centered vertically and it will not be centered vertically so we need to move it up on the Z axis by half the offset so we can say Mm, offset here of the grid height let's move this 0 0.75 and see what will happen I don't know why he added this ok times offset divided by 2.0 I see mm, we give us a wrong result minus then last thing we, we do plus and oh uh, then we minus it from offset. Still not working. Let's say plus two, and we see which way it will go. It will go down. So minus two it should go up now. And yes, it it is centered now. But <coughs> don't know why. Uh, hex height times you can say times 0 0.75 again times 0 
75 minus 06. I think it is centered now. Let's say something like minus offset divided by 2.0. No, it's not good, so just my minus offset. And now it is centered. Not sure about it. Need to move down a little. But it works for now. And see, we have our hex grid now ready to be created at any time and it, it all will be centered to the screen whatever you add it change our graphic view to something like 30 and here we go crazy like mm, 30 30 and we start and see how long it will take to create it you can see we have created it but we need to resize our camera so something more like 40 to see it all mm, not shown and we need to a grid height to be less like 25 now let's see Okay now, and you can see it is centered in our screen. So that's all for now. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next tutorial.